The next honeycomb variation is looking a bit like this one. So we've got I've got the white warp and I've got the white yarn and for the contrast yarn I'm using a purple and I'm doing much smaller cells this time. So this is a a finer sort of look. All right, so let's start with our up and down sheds for the white yarn. <coughs> Just a simple up and down. You see honeycomb, like any other structure really, is um, quite repetitive and you'll get used to it very quickly. So we're going to insert pick up stick A, so we go in the down shed. Now this time we are doing three down, two up. Three down two up, right across the warp. All the notes for these structures I will have in the comments section. You may need to click on show more to be able to see them, but they will be there. And all the sequences for the pickup sticks and everything. That's our pick up stick A. So I'm going to bring in the purple yarn now. And we need the up shed. Bring pick up stick A forward. Then the down shed. Remember to check your edges. It looks like for this one we're going to be fine because that is going around the edge. It's catching the edge thread without a problem. Okay, so how many times are we going to do this one? Let me check my notes. We are doing just two. So I'm, I wrote these variations yesterday and did the sample to show you what's possible with this structure um, and the variety that you can get. You can get something that's more fine looking or you can get something that's really quite bold looking like the red one that we did in the last video. So that's two already. So we're swapping back to the white yarn for an up and a down. So doing on, only two sequences leaves us with very small cells. Now we go to the down shed and we're going to insert pick up stick B and B of course is going to be the exact opposite of A it's going to be three up three down. Uh, sorry three up two down. All right just as we just the opposite of pick up stick A. Uh, I have to concentrate for a minute, sorry, I have to stop talking. I've got a bad habit of talking while I'm trying to count or do something and then completely losing track of what I'm doing. All right, let's just use that shuttle for a minute to transfer the pattern to the back. Okay. Back to our purple yarn and the upshed. Remember, we're just doing this twice. This sequence of up, pick up stick B forward. So you're starting to see how repetitive this is. Even though you're using two pick up sticks and two contrasting yarns, um, the repetition is pretty much the same. If you haven't watched the first video I did on honeycomb, I suggest that you watch that first because that explains a little bit more about the structure and about what I'm doing here. All right, so we've done those twice each. We bring the white yarn back in for an up and down shed. Now, if, if you were going to continue weaving, you would...
you would remove pick up stick B and you would now bring back the purple yarn you would go into an up shed and you bring you do the sequence with pick up stick A again so you repeat the whole thing over again